Upon the invitation of the Bangladesh Air Force Chief, the Indian Air Force Chief has arrived on a three-day visit to Bangladesh to further expand military cooperation between the two countries. The Bangladesh Air Force Chief was part of visiting dignitaries at the Aero India 2021, and he was given a demo flight of the Tejas aircraft, after which Bangladesh Air Force requested India to send its Tejas Mark I fighter jets to participate in the Bangladesh Air Show 2022. China will also send its J-10C fighter jet, while Pakistan has refused to send its JF-17, as Bangladesh has refused to buy them in previous offers. In a significant development, India has successfully tested a 2,000 km range next-generation missile of the Agni series known as Agni Prime. Various telemetry and radar stations positioned along the eastern coast tracked and monitored the missile, and it has followed textbook trajectory, and met all mission objectives with a very high level of accuracy. Being a canister-launched missile, the Agni Prime will give the armed forces the requisite operational flexibility to swiftly transport and fire from different locations. Under its latest request for information for 1750 future infantry combat vehicles, the Army has stated that around 55% of the total 1,750 FICVs will be gun version, and the remaining would be specialist and command vehicles. The Indian Army has proposed a three-stage induction model for its FICV program, and within two years of contract signing, the Indian vendors can collaborate with foreign original equipment manufacturers to deliver 75 to 100 vehicles per year. The stage one is for limited series production, in which around 10% of the total number of vehicles will be delivered over a period of two years. The Stage 2 will be a product improvement phase, under which 40% of the total number of vehicles will be delivered over a six-year period. The final Stage 3 will come with significant technical upgrades and product improvement, and will include the delivery of remaining 50% of the vehicles. Original equipment manufacturers like Russia's Rosberone Export Germany's Rain Metal Group South Korean company Hanwer Defense and Italian firm Leonardo are interested to participate while the Indian companies include the Ordnance Factory Board, Bharat Earth Movers Limited, Mohindra Group, Reliance Defence Larsen and Tubro and Bharat Forge. The Indian-Russian joint venture company Brahmos Aerospace has told Russian media Sputnik that it plans to sign $1 billion worth of new contracts by the end of 2021, which will take the company's yearly revenue to $6 billion. Officials have said that 40% of the orders were placed by land forces, while 30% each from the Navy and Air Force. India and Philippines are also set to sign the deal for the procurement of two mobile batteries for the Philippines Army under its land-based missile system program between July and September 2021, and it has also expressed interest in the naval BrahMos variant. According to officials of Cochin Shipyard, the next step is the integration of several navigational communication and operational systems on the INS Vikrant aircraft carrier. They also said that the carrier is now being readied for its maiden contractor sea trials before the end of this year, and the sea and aviation trials will take at least one year to be completed, which means that the aircraft carrier will be fully operational only by mid-2023. The Royal British Navy has said that the Queen Elizabeth Carrier Strike Group with F-35B fighters will participate in full-spectrum exercises with the Indian Navy around the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, under the annual India-UK Joint Maritime Exercise in July 2021, with Indian destroyer submarines P-8 anti-submarine aircraft and MiG-29K fighters. During the port calls, the Indian Navy will get a first-hand experience of the F-35B stealth fighters, which are designed for short takeoff and vertical landing mode on the carrier. 
the Indian Air Force in collaboration with the Indian Space Research Organization is developing a real-time aircraft tracking system that will start trials and evaluation on an AN-32 aircraft at one of its air bases. The Indian Air Force is also equipping some of its larger aircraft with a new generation satellite-based automatic dependent surveillance broadcast system.